Hello friends, stoking embers. I'm just enjoying an after work smoke and uh, beer over at Casual Pint. If I can get this in here, I don't know. But uh, working at the hot rod shop with the old man. Getting ready to move shop, so just cutting stuff down and enjoying the beer because uh, it's a lager. Hell's something, I don't know, but uh, I don't like IPAs. I'm not a hop guy, but I do like a lager. And I'm smoking this uh, this uh, Highland Cigars blend called Raspberry uh, Bourbon. Yeah, it smells really good. Doesn't taste like it smoked, but that's all right. Still like it. And uh, this is my Missouri Meerschaum Devil Ants I picked up through Aristocob. If you haven't checked him out, his channel's pretty good. As well as the Markwood Men's Club, uh, Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. They're pretty good. You know, and this pipe was delayed getting to me because, or one of the pipes in my order was delayed because of uh, something that happened at Missouri Meerschaum. And I'll tell you, Aristocob, those guys are nice people. They sent me an email to say, hey, it's going to be late but we just want to let you know and we'll throw in a little extra something for you and uh, they keep in contact with you and as soon as it was ready to ship they let me know and it's my first little cigar or little pipe I like the big ones the church wardens what have you but um, I couldn't resist the name Devil Ants you know I thought it was pretty cool and I know it comes uh, I think at least it's related to uh, the Hatfield McCoys with uh, the series with Kevin Costner but I enjoy it it's, uh, it's not bad. So I just want to say a quick shout. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for everybody who took up Bristol, uh, Bearded Bristol and subscribing to me. I appreciate his shout out to me and his giveaway. Uh, I got to admit, it was kind of tingly. I don't get excited too often, but uh, hearing my name called was pretty cool. Or hearing the, the shadow called, that was all right. And uh, he told a funny story. About running into a clothesline as a kid playing a hide and seek game and uh, that's pretty good that was funny as I'll get out and um, so I thought I'd share one with you not from when I was such a little guy but a little bit older and uh, my best friend Billy and I were <clears throat> working at a powder coating company in the summers to pay for college and during those summers it was hot work outside in the sun or in the warehouse open there's no air conditioning just fans and uh, we'd lump and unload trailers and big steel frames for u-haul trucks u-haul trailers and get them ready for the powder coat or hang them rack them heat coat them and then we put them in the oven and the oven was about 450 degrees 500 degrees so after you wheel the frame or rack of frames in and out 116 felt pretty good not bad at all so, anyway, one day it was slow. Uh, the truck delivering parts was late, and we couldn't get all the stuff we needed, and we had nothing to do. So it was busy work time. You know how that is. You know, sweep in and clean in, and then bend in hooks. And we took these steel rods. These uh, are pretty thin, but we took these thin steel rods and used those to create hooks that we'd hang frames and parts from to be uh, powder coated. So one day, one afternoon, it was dead, and we're just doing busy work, and it was kind of boring and mind-numbing. And I look over at Billy, and I said, hey, are we having fun or what? And Billy, in his usual attitude, had made a gesture, an exaggerated gesture that, well, to keep it clean, let's just say he was uh, pleasuring himself. And right about the time he did this, the president of the company walked in. Can I give you an idea? The company we worked for owns like ping golf clubs and stuff. It's a pretty big company. And in with the president walked in Billy's dad. <laughs> and the president says to Billy, well, hey, looks like you're having fun. And he kept walking. And Billy's dad just would <laughs> cover his brow, did one of these, and later on walked out and said, you two idiots, you can't do nothing right, can you? I said, what did I do? It wasn't me. He goes, nah, bull crap. I know if Billy did it, you had something to do with it too. So in the spirit of sharing funny stories and childhood memories, I, I thought I'd share that one with you. 
and it came to mind today because at the hot rod shop all we were doing was uh, moving cars uh, in and out of the shop to make room and then tearing down our, our clean room and then eventually the we'll tear down the paint booth as well as we're moving over to another shop so well hope this is it not much more to say hope you all enjoy it I hope to see some of your videos. I'll catch you all later.